Mike was muted. Thank you, Chief Blacks. But uh, early on aggression for Sleepy Code coming in, being mostly successful. Blue has found a little bit of counter aggression back with some of the multi hit aerials, but overall. I mean, you're seeing that damage rack up. It is absolutely Amari's favorite. That fireball hits gives him a really nice spot on that down smash. Easy peasy. First stock going the way of Sleepy Curve on that one. Some damage was carried over. We're going to have to see Bluke find a few openings here. And we're seeing Sleepy Curve. God, just so fast and aggressive right now. It's really making it hard to break in. And another... Two good reads there on the get-ups. He's been all over those. And the up B angle not quite right for Bluke. That's going to be him out the bottom. I mean, we've seen Curb so far. He's perfectly reading the uh, get-ups. Earlier, he read a roll-up for an up smash. And then on there on the second stock, he had two separate reads there. Oh, my God. Curb. Curb. You nasty bitch. <laughs> You know, I commented to Curb earlier with the bucket hat and the mask. He looked like he was a cancer patient. Yeah. Never mind, he's just I'm giving the people cancer. Yeah. He is the cancer. <laughs> Him and that Mario. That that was some clean edge play there, and it was it got nasty real fast. <laughs> These told you perfect laugh. <laughs> all, all caps. Luke making the switch to Inkling, I, I like that overall. It gives him a little more speed, uh, and he's not... I feel like he's not quite as easy to juggle for Mario, just being slightly smaller in the like. But we will see how it comes up. I mean, Sleepy Curb definitely honed his Mario play during 2020 and has been looking good 2021 in general. So, we're going to see if that carries on through here against the Inkling. I haven't seen him face many Inklings at all. Maybe the uh, the matchup will help. Got some more people in the chat. May Mochi popping in. Hello. Oh, that backer was coming through, but the charge up smash just comes out. Finally, Curb gets the first shock off Blue. He survived to a very high percentage there. I'm just gonna have to see if he's able to start get some aggression of his own. I mean. We all know Inkling, you get some pain on your opponent, or some ink I should say, on your opponent, get a couple hits, and then all of a sudden it's a roller into a smash and you're dead. And Curb trying to fight off stage gets a little greedy and ends up not having the recovery. Two stocks apiece now. Going for that deep recovery, avoiding uh, Mario be able to come down there and mess with him. Rolls into that up smash, unfortunately, and eats a lot of damage for it. Grab and throw there. Didn't get any pummels in. Just kind of stared in for a while, though. Let him know. Let him know what was up. And with that up smash, you're seeing Sleepy Curb really controlling the stage right now. It's hard for this inkling to get in. Just a lot of speed coming out from the way uh, Curb is playing this Mario. Able to shield all the way through that uh, up smash, but you know, no punish on the back end either. So if you can't get the punishes in, you're going to have a hard time getting back into this game. And Blue right now, 142, trying to get some damage out. That roller not going to land. Out of ink now, going to get a little recharge in, but not a whole lot. Enough for one roller, but shielded. And the back air comes through. That's going to be another stock going down. Sleepy Curb leads 2-1. to one. The stage control has continued to be in Sleepy Curb's favor. That roller gets him in the air, so it just pops him up. I 
it's been unfortunate for the speed at which Curve is playing this Mario. He's not never putting himself in a spot to really be grounded by the roller, and that's a lot of bread and butter for the inkling. I mean, even there, shielding and grabbing through. It's just he's not caught off guard. He's ready with the shield, and there, another fair to finish it off. 2-0. Going the way of Sleepy Curve. Mario wins. Uh, did, the scoreboard didn't update after the last one. My apologies.